back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you a wee bumble pattern. A wee variant. That's a wee fly there. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hot tag on the back or a hot arch. That's going to be a glow bright floss number number 4. Now, I'll just come in with the floss. I'm just going to start at the bend. Take about 9 or 10 turns of the floss down, remove the waist tag. And then just work your glow bright floss back up. Just the way you start it, keeping the, the floss tight. I'm going to come in and throw in a two turn whip finish. Drill the floss nice and tight. And then I'm going to come in and trim away the Excess of the glue break. There's no wee vapor to back, don't want that because we're going to put some UV resin on to protect the, the floss. Not too much, just a, enough. And then we're just going to spread this around with my, with my needle. Light this up. Just make sure the UV resin is well cured before you continue to tie the remainder of the fly. The thread we're going to use is the Uni 3880 in red. So I'm going to start. Just we're sort of way where I want the body hackle to begin. And I'm going to work my thread down the hook. I'm just going to just tie it up against the glow bright floss tag and then remove the, the waste piece of thread. The tail is a crest feather and this has been dyed a uh, solar flare. So I'm just going to wee feather off. I just offer this to the side. Just come around with two turns. I'll bring it up onto the, the top of the hook for you. And then you can bring this into the length that you like. Yeah, just gonna have a wee check. Yeah, happy enough for that. So I'm just gonna tighten up. Come in and trim that. The or the rib is gonna be a fan yards oval gold tinsel. Size so 14. Get a wee length of this off. Now you could use wire or silver in anything. The flat will still work. Just gonna take this opportunity now just to run the thread up. Just hang in the, the rib and the cut ends of the crest feather. Now you don't need to be super smooth here in relation to your body because it's gonna be dubbed. So just work on the thread back down, tied up against the tail. Now the body is just going to be golden olive SLF. Just dub some of this on. Now the SLF is it's lovely dubbing, it's easy to work with. And you, once you get it onto the hook, you can stretch it out and tighten up. The body haggle. This is a, a Mats Grade 2 Bar Ginger that has been dyed a, like a golden olive. Now, see that one feather? See the, the length of it? Like, it's a good 10, sorry, 12 inches long, that feather. Now, I roughly get between 4 and 5 flies out of that. I know that they're, they're not the most cheapest of capes to buy, but it lasts you a long time. And, you know, if you have a friend that does fly tying, then you can always sort of split the cape 
just half it. Now, I'm just going to get three turns going at the shoulder of the fly. I'm just not happy with that, so I'm just going to come back. Just getting a wee bit excited there. Now, three turns going at the shoulder. And then I'm looking three, four turns down the body. Just to there. Now, just come around with my oval gold tinsel. Catch in the tip of the hackle. And then we're looking four turns of the oval gold up the body. Sweep everything back. Bring your oval gold tinsel up in front. Follow that around with your thread. Get a couple of tight turns in. I'm going to trim away the excess of the oval gold. You can break off the tip at the back. Right. We're not looking too bad. Bring my thread back up against, tight against the body haggle. Now I'm just going to come in with the, the Velcro. Just give us a wee scrubbing. Just bring out some of the dubbing into the wee dressing. Now the front, one of the front haggles is going to be a Grizzle haggle. This is from Lakeland. Let's bring it to the camera. That's the the waiting exclusive. And this one's dyed orange. So just gonna get a wee hand haggle off. Now we're we're looking around about two turns out of this. So I'm just gonna catch that in. A couple of turns, fold the tip back. Just getting a bit of thread down for the the haggle and stroke everything back you're just looking one turn in front of the other now you can put on more than two if you're going to use this type of haggle it's up to you I just want to show you this and you just can always go away and experiment with the, the materials that you have I'm just going to catch that in come in with my scissors away the excess of the haggle, sweep everything back and just bring my thread back up now I just want to get this level for the front haggle yeah, it's a lovely colour that wee grizzle haggle now the front haggle is just going to be a, a waiting lace wing dyed blue you put on blue jet at this point I do have blue jay but I've started to use the lace wing more. I'm just going to fold back the tip and work my thread back up over the tip and the hackle. Break away the, the tip of the hackle and then I'm looking a turn and a half of this. Catch this off underneath. The hook, a couple of tight turns, and then come in and trim away the stem. Just going to fold everything back now. It wants to go forward to the eye. Just building up my head. Just getting a bit of thread down. I'm going to put some jungle cock on, and they're just. Just a wee split eye. That's it there. I've got loads of these, and this is a good way to use these up, guys. Even if you don't fish in the Irish locks or you want to tie these, or get into the way of tan lock flies, it's a good way to use up the jungle cock. Yeah, it's coming around with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're just to see what way we're sitting. Happy with that, so I'm just going to tighten up with another two turns. I'm going to come in and lift the jungle cat, the excess of it. I'm just going to trim all this away. A good pair of sharp scissors here pays off. Thread to the eye, and then we're just going to build up our head. If you start from the front of the eye, not like the way I've done, 
So we'll just come on back in and build up your head from the front. It'll make it far easier for you to, to finish on some of the old books that I have. The fly dressers back in are always telling you to build your head from here down to the eye, but your thread does slip. So always start at the if you can start at the eye of the hook, my view. I'm just gonna come in and throw in a whip finish. I'm just shaping the head here. Just a wee shape that I like to see in it. Pull the thread tight. Come in from way the tan thread. First coat on the head is going to be a wee drop of super glue. Just onto the head, mind you, you don't want this going into your haggle. Especially the hand haggle. Just ruin the whole wee fly. So just right the whole way right round. Just take your time. You're no rush. And once that dries guys, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the, the super glue and stop any moisture bloom. But there you go, it's just a, a wee variant on a golden owl bumble. Um, so just I'm tying these up for a guy. So, so there you go guys, try that wee fly out. Um, hopefully it, it can catch you a few fish and hopefully you, you're getting some from the from the tan videos. So as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, please consider subscribing. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time, be good. And if you can't be good, be careful.